We're getting ready to play a game of football against the crew of the USS Arizona for the Fleet Championship. Where's Mickey? You never got that game, right? You never got that. You better believe it. You, I know you won the war. I don't know about football. You won the war. Look at you. Look, you look beautiful. Boy, oh boy, that's pretty. Can you do that one more time for me? I can't believe it. Boy, that's, I'm, not, I'm not playing him in football. When bombs began to fall, Mickey reported to his battle station in the crow's nest of the USS Pennsylvania wearing his football uniform and his football helmet, which he threw off because he figured he didn't need it. That's pretty, pretty great, huh? And you did a hell of a job. You saw something that few people have ever witnessed before, right? Right. Amazing. Thanks, Mickey. Took place after the surprise attack, and that was a vicious surprise attack. Millions of American patriots like these men answered the same call and went to war. They fought, they bled, they sacrificed, and they triumphed. Many died to defend America against our enemies and to defeat the enemies of all humanity. The legacy of that legendary American generation is carved deep into the stone monuments of history across the battlefields, oceans, and harrowing skies of Europe and the Pacific throughout the war. One great battle cry could be heard by American friends and foes alike. Remember Pearl Harbor. Have you heard that before a couple of times? Remember Pearl Harbor. Remember Pearl Harbor. <laughs> to meet the foe. Just remember Pearl Harbor as we did the Alamo. We shall always remember how they died for liberty. Just remember Pearl Harbor and go on to victory. Yes. <laughs> what can I say? Well, that was good. He's a very shy person, too. <laughs> and a great football player. Today, our entire nation pauses to remember Pearl Harbor and the brave warriors who, on that day, stood tall and fought for America. As I signed the proclamation making this national Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day, I ask that God continue to bless and watch over each of you as very, very special people to our country. And God is watching over you, and we appreciate it. Thank you. Our surviving World War II veterans are a precious national treasure. So I'm going to sign this proclamation, and we're going to — I see there's one pen, but we're going to get plenty of other pens and other things for you guys, so you remember this day. And uh, again, we'll do it for another seven years, okay? Seven years. And you all have to promise you're going to be around, right? Yeah. We're going to be around. We're going to be around. We're going to be together, okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's sign the proclamation. Thank you. That was so great, though. It was like you really made this very exciting. Some free entertainment, right? Okay, this is National Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day 2017. And we've got things for everybody. Great men. What do you think? How's the penmanship? Okay? Yeah. <laughs> right? It's okay? Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. See you next year, okay? Oh, I thought he gave it to him. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. See you all next year. I'm not sure what this will count. That's right. Yes, sir. That's right. I've got a hat for you. Five times. I'll do you that. Gave, you gave me a hat. But you never signed it. Oh, I brought a question. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to bring them into the Oval Office. We're going to take some pictures of the Oval Office. All right? You know the Oval Office, right? So we're going to go to the Oval Office. Good idea, Mike?
Well, we could. We're going to do that right now. Come on. Follow me. Thank you, everybody. Mr. President, any comment on Senator Al Franken? He made some comments about you earlier today, sir. I didn't hear them, sir. Do you have a comment about sexual harassment in this country? What the message should be, sir? We get to... Uh,